the Craze Spark. Welcome everybody, Cray Spartan here yet again with a little gameplay video for on the map plaza and obviously I'm doing really well as you can see already. We're tearing this up. Anyways, bringing you this gameplay man because I really had a good time. This was the uh, HCS preview playlist and personally this is the radar that I like to have. This is actually I think is the best radar that uh, is in the game. Uh, if you don't know what the HCS radar is, it is a little different than the regular radar. Uh, you only show up on the radar if if you actually uh, doing sprinting or you're clambering or whatever type of Spartan abilities that you're trying to do. Uh, that's uh, that's what this uh, playlist does, in which I think it works really well. I don't know why, but I think this is an excellent, excellent radar. I love this radar. Um, if you're just walking normally, you actually don't uh, you don't show up on the radar, which is nice. So it it slows the game pace down a little bit. However, I think it plays so much better. It just it feels so much better with this radar because it's actually 25 meters. You don't get bombarded by the Spartan charge quite so much. I mean, it does happen. You are going to get because the Spartan charge is still OP. There's just no doubt in my mind. Um, however, however, it's not as bad because they have to sprint and they show up on your radar uh, a little bit earlier. So you are able to most of the time react uh, to a Spartan charge um, or somebody sprinting up behind you. So which is really awesome. That is what I really like about this radar. Um, as you can see, we are not doing so well. As a matter of fact, I'm doing pretty bad. A uh, little uh, insight into this game. Now, this is um, really interesting. Because this is HCS uh, preview and we have the radar the way it is, it's kind of hard to tell where players are. As you can see, this guy sneaking right in the corner. And uh, obviously, I had no idea he was there. Just kind of got lucky. There you go. He backed right into my nade, which is awesome. I'm not capturing this point. Why am I not? <laughs> but anyways, this is... Uh, what I like about this gameplay here is that we actually had another player online and he actually had a game, he had a mic, and probably around this time we really actually started chatting and started talking and uh, communicating with each other a little bit, calling out, uh, telling where other players are, telling uh, and um, where they're at and, and uh, how to you know, you know, you know the basic chatter when you actually are playing a more competitive game, which I think this radar promotes. I think this promotes this a lot. And as you see, we're still not doing well, we, but we did just capture all three points. And there is that Spartan charge, ladies and gentlemen. There is a Spartan charge. <laughs> Such a good mode. Such a good, uh, good ability. I don't know. Seriously. <laughs> But anyways, that's um, what was really fun. We actually started chatting, started talking, uh, telling where the other players are. And um, as you can see, we actually, we're actually we gaining on them. We're actually starting to, to catch up on them, which is really awesome. And that's what really showcases this. This uh, showcases this playlist is communication does uh, really help in this uh, playlist. Because the radar isn't as... Uh, I don't want to say it's as effective because it, it, it's very effective in certain situations. However, um, people aren't just absolutely relying on that because people will walk, as you can see I'm doing here, and you just don't show up on the radar. Oh, and I did forget. If you fire your weapon, you also show up on the radar. Um, so that is really awesome, too. I, I really like this, this radar. It's by far my favorite. Uh, in Halo 5. Now we're actually, we are we are not doing well. Uh, we are still catching up. We're catching up, but they have like a 40 point lead on us right now, and it just really goes to show how much teamwork actually does pay uh, pay advantage to uh, a game like is like Halo. Because I just don't see this in other games. I mean, I could be wrong. I don't watch a whole lot of other games. Um, but to me, a lot of the other games really comes down to luck. Uh, when I talk about luck, I mean like Call of Duty or Battlefield. It depends on where you spawn, uh, what the other player has as a weapon, 
I mean, granted, that's a factor in Halo as well. However, at least you have a general idea as to what you're going to run into, such as a shotgun or, or anything else. Um, but if you know that, if you know that they got a power up or something like that, and you call that out, uh, in other games it's just not as effective, at least not that I've seen. I mean, I, I mean, like I said, I could be wrong. I don't watch that other stuff too much. Um, I have watched a Call of Duty, you know, type of uh, match, but it just really, it just wasn't my taste. I tell you that. It was, it was really kind of ugly. A um, lot of, <laughs> a lot of, lot more trash talking, and, and I mean, there's nothing wrong with trash talking, but it, it's just a little over the top for me. I think it's a little excessive. Uh, I, I've always found that nice about Halos, man. It's usually usually <laughs> not saying always it's usually actually pretty uh pretty civil pretty civil um which is nice um i can i can watch halo uh matchmaking or tournaments and not really feel like oh do i really want to subject myself to all this but here we are we're actually really close to catching up um doing a really nice job like i said it's really nice actually just sitting there and chatting with somebody talking with them and calling out stuff it, it helps out so much um so definitely recommend that guys if you die in a halo game if you look at the bottom side of the radar there is a, a little name tag for the area you're in like this is yard and it was like go out here i don't think i go out here for a second but is this guy strafe you see that strafe Oh, this is a different guy. Otherwise, I probably would have got him. <laughs> but I did, call, like I said, I just called him out, and uh, my teammate picked him up for me. Uh, so we were able to keep that point. And there you go. I think we, we just took the lead right now. So, like I said, that's what's so awesome, man. Uh, just random strangers getting together um, and calling out and just having a good time playing Halo, man. That is what's, what it's all about. Uh, just playing and having fun. Now, I don't know what everybody else does when they play Halo. They get super competitive, and which is fine. You know, if that's what you want to do, absolutely. But, man, if you take out that fun factor, what's the point? What's the point? <laughs> that's why I really feel bad. Uh, I do feel bad for the pros, man. I also have to wonder if it's almost like a job instead of a game, you know? I, I would hate to have that where something I truly love and enjoy doing where it becomes a job and you just he's like well I gotta go and play Halo again or I gotta go and you know I, <laughs> I gotta go do this again I, I really don't want it to because it's become work you know no, I don't want that but anyways as you see as you can see how awesome this game was, man. I love this game because we really did. We came from behind, like, so bad. I think we were, like, 50 down. And even at the end, when we we said that was an awesome comeback, even the other team kind of complimented us on that. So that was fun, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is Crazed. I'm out of here. Comment, like, and subscribe.